established in 1999, V Groups began its journey as a specialized service provider in the Occupational Health Services (OHC) sector, operating in the South India region with a base in Hyderabad, Andhra Pradesh. In 2005, the company expanded its offerings to include equipment services, demonstrating a commitment to adaptability and growth. Over the years, V Groups further diversified its portfolio, introducing equipment rentals and comprehensive maintenance services, including AMC, Annual Maintenance Contract, and CMC, Comprehensive Maintenance Contract, for machines. With a pan-India presence and a global footprint in Dubai and the United Kingdom, V Groups has positioned itself as a versatile and reliable player in the equipment services industry. 1. What is asthma? Asthma is a chronic respiratory condition that affects the airways in your lungs. When you have asthma, your airways become inflamed, narrow, and produce extra mucus, making it difficult to breathe. The condition can cause recurrent episodes of wheezing chest tightness, shortness of breath, and coughing, especially at night or in the early morning. Asthma is often triggered by a variety of factors such as allergens, for example, pollen, dust mites, pet dander irritants, for example, smoke, pollution, strong smells cold air or sudden weather changes. Exercise Stress Asthma can range from mild to life-threatening, and it often requires long-term management. 2. Discovery of Asthma Who discovered it and when? The symptoms of asthma have been known for centuries, but the condition itself was formally described by Hippocrates, the ancient Greek physician, around 400 BCE. However, it was Sir John Floyer, an English physician, who made significant strides in defining asthma in 1698. He is credited with writing the first detailed clinical description of the disease in his book titled A Treatise of the Asthma. Though the understanding of asthma has evolved, these early medical texts laid the groundwork for the modern diagnosis and treatment of the condition. 3. Epidemiology, Global and Countrywise Prevalence Asthma affects an estimated 300 million people worldwide, and its prevalence is increasing, especially in developed nations. It is a major cause of hospitalization, school absenteeism, and reduced quality of life, particularly in children. Global Asthma Statistics Around 1 in 20 people globally suffer from asthma. Asthma is more common in high-income countries but its prevalence is rising in low- and middle-income countries as well. Country-wise prevalence United States, approximately 25 million people have asthma, including about 5.5 million children. United Kingdom, around 5.4 million people are receiving treatment for asthma. India, it is estimated that around 1,520 million people suffer from asthma. Australia has one of the highest rates of asthma globally, with approximately 1 in 9 Australians affected. Asthma's prevalence is generally higher in countries with increased urbanization and industrialization, likely due to increased pollution and lifestyle factors. 4. Symptoms of Asthma Asthma symptoms vary from person to person, but common symptoms include shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, especially during physical activity or at night. Wheezing, a high-pitched whistling sound when breathing, often heard during exhalation. Coughing, especially at night or early morning. Chest tightness, a feeling of pressure or constriction in the chest. Fatigue, feeling exhausted due to poor oxygen supply during flare-ups. Asthma can be unpredictable, with symptoms flaring up during asthma attacks which can sometimes be life-threatening if not properly managed. 5. Prevention of Asthma While asthma cannot be fully cured, it can be effectively managed. Here are some preventive measures. Avoid triggers. Stay away from known allergens and irritants, such as dust, smoke, and pet dander. Use air purifiers in your home and ensure proper ventilation.
minimize outdoor activities during high pollen seasons or when pollution levels are high. Maintain a healthy lifestyle. Exercise regularly to improve lung function, but ensure you use your asthma medication, if prescribed, before engaging in strenuous activities. Maintain a healthy diet rich in vitamins and antioxidants to support lung health. Vaccination Ensure you're up to date on vaccines, especially for influenza and pneumonia, as respiratory infections can worsen asthma symptoms. 6. Treatment of Asthma Asthma treatment focuses on managing symptoms and preventing future attacks. Treatment plans are tailored to individual needs, but generally include Medications Quicker Relief, Rescue, Medications These are used during an asthma attack to provide immediate relief. The most common type is the short-acting betagonists, like albuterol which help relax the muscles around the airways. Long-term control medications, these help prevent asthma attacks and reduce inflammation in the airways. They include Inhaled corticosteroids, most effective in reducing inflammation and controlling asthma over time. Leukotriene modifiers, pills that reduce inflammation and prevent asthma symptoms. Long-acting betagonists, Labaz. Used in combination with corticosteroids to control moderate to severe asthma. Bronchial thermoplasty. For severe asthma cases, a treatment called bronchial thermoplasty may be used. This procedure reduces the thickness of the smooth muscle in the airways, reducing their ability to constrict. Asthma Action Plan. Every asthma patient should have a personalized asthma action plan that outlines the steps to take during a mild moderate, or severe asthma attack. This includes when to take medications, how to monitor symptoms, and when to seek emergency care. Conclusion Asthma is a chronic, but manageable condition that affects millions of people worldwide. With proper treatment, preventive strategies, and lifestyle modifications, individuals with asthma can lead full, active lives. Remember, Always consult with your healthcare provider to ensure your asthma is well controlled and to receive an individualized treatment plan. Thank you for watching Anaga Health. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with others who may benefit from this information. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest health videos. We sincerely appreciate you taking the time to watch our content on groups. Your support means the world to us, and we are thrilled to have you as part of our community. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing ensures that you stay updated with our latest videos, updates, and exciting content. By subscribing, you become an integral part of our growing community and your support inspires us to create more engaging and valuable content for you. Thank you for being a part of the group's family. We look forward to bringing you more entertaining and informative content in the future. If you have any suggestions or topics you'd like us to cover, feel free to leave a comment below. Once again.